Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is another of my short, short stories. This one is called A Desperate Author. Hi, my name is Emma, and I had to start from scratch. I had retired from beautified Detroit, lost my dear husband, and now, at age 81, now what? I moved from my house to an apartment. I got a great deal from Develop Detroit. I mean, it's a government program to get middle-class people to move into the inner city. I kept busy by decorating the apartment, even painted one wall red. Somehow that makes me feel young, well, younger. I figured I'd better do some travel while I still can. I had always wanted to go on safari, so I did. But it was just okay. I felt too much like a bourgeois virtue signaling tourist, which I guess I am. Then I was back home and I wasn't sure what to do. I missed my husband and idiotically tried to compensate by reading romance novels, what they used to call bodice rippers. That's no longer an acceptable term. But of course, it's not the same as the real thing. So I decided to try to meet a guy. But at age 81, all you meet are dodderers who need a nursemaid. Men do live six years shorter than women and their last decade in worse health. There are 4.4 widows for every widower. Yet yeah, all we see is another fundraiser for breast cancer. Oh, oh well. Anyway, I asked my friends to set me up. Nothing. I went to the senior center, took up square dancing, but I had trouble remembering the steps. I even signed up for supersilversingles.com, but all I could find there were the aforementioned dodderers or swinging 60-somethings. I, I'm not there. I wanted someone my age to pal around with, a fun partner more than a bed partner. I certainly didn't want my end of the partnership being changing his bedpan. Nothing worked out. I guess better solo than so-so. So I started expanding my fantasy world from reading about romance to writing about it, concocting these lovely, intelligent, kind, and okay, rich 70-year-olds, and we would laugh our way through our life's winter until we could laugh no more. I wrote the fantasies in my journal, and in a month I had filled 50 pages, so I decided to try to convert them into a novel, and that's how Silver Sex was born. I figured that even our age, sex sells. But while I got an agent, a mere 76-year-old, she couldn't get a publisher to publish Silver Sex, even for free. So I decided to self-publish it on Amazon Self-Publishing. And yeah, I had to hire someone to handle all the details, but that was just a few hundred dollars. I could afford that. A hell of a lot more than the, better than $14,000 to hire wicked women writers of Vanity Press. After Silver Sex was published, I checked my book's rankings on Amazon. It averaged 10 million. That means that 10 million books are selling better than mine. <sighs> so I figured I'd better do some marketing. I called local bookstores and asked if I could do a signing. Not unless I had a good sized mailing list. I had no mailing list. I posted titillating excerpts on Facebook. I got a few likes, but only one person commented that she plans to buy a book or buy a copy. I did get to do a book signing at the senior center, but only two people bought the book and I'm sure it was charity. Both of them were my friends. While I would have liked to make money from silver sex, that does sound raunchy, doesn't it? Make money from silver sex. But it was clear that wouldn't happen. But I still wanted people to read it, so I asked my local library if they'd put it on their shelf. No, no self-published books. Then I put a copy in the little library a few blocks from my apartment. You know, little libraries are in which a homeowner puts an enclosed bookshelf in front of their house. I checked it every day to see if anyone borrowed my book. No one had. And then one day, I came by and vandals had smashed the little library to the ground, leaving all the books there rained on. What I'm doing now is this. I carry a few copies in my pocketbook, and when I meet and chat with an older stranger on the street, in a cafe, or in the supermarket line, I ask if they'd like a free copy. I've now given away maybe 30 copies now. It makes me happy. In any event, that story is called A Desperate Author. As usual, I uh, welcome your thumbs up, accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you would choose to subscribe to my channel and certainly would welcome you taking a look at my 29 books or any of my 29 books. They're all on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and search on my name, Marty Nemko, N-E-M-K-O, and you will find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.